<clears throat> Welcome to F260 Week 26, Ezra 1 and 2, entitled Release from Captivity of the World, the Flesh, and the Devil. Highlight verses Ezra 1, verses 1 to 2. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put it also in writing, saying, Thus saith Cyrus, king of Persia, The Lord God of heaven hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath charged me to build him an house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Explaining this, <clears throat> some 150 years prior to this, the prophet Jeremiah had prophesied that the captivity would last for 70 years. Jeremiah 29.10. That 70th, 70th year just arrived. One year after Cyrus conquered Babylon, he was directed by God to allow the Jewish captives to return to Jerusalem to rebuild their temple. Applying this begs, applying this, this begs the question, is it inferred here that Cyrus was a convert to the God of Israel? when he declared that the Lord God of heaven and earth was directing him to do this. According to a publication, Hard Sayings of the Bible, a copy of Cyrus's proclamation was found in excavations conducted in Babylon in 1879. It showed that Cyrus also made similar proclamations to other people's gods. This gives pause to the notion that Cyrus was a convert to the God of Israel. Nevertheless, God did move the heart of Cyrus to repatriate the Jews and help them to rebuild their house of worship. <clears throat> the heart of the king, regardless of his own religious proclivities, is in the hand of the Lord. Proverbs 21.1 According to Isaiah 44, 28 and 45, 1, that saith of Cyrus, he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure, even saying to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built and the temple, thy foundation shall be laid. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him. <clears throat> Some 250 years prior to promising to send someone to open the way for the Jews to return, God names the very man, Cyrus, many years before he was even born. All this serves to give proof of God's eternal power and Godhead and his universal incon incontestable sovereignty. My response, not only was Cyrus instrumental in the release of the Jews out of their captivity, but he was a type of the great redeemer, Jesus Christ, who has released us from our captivity, the world, the flesh, and the devil. Amen. God bless.